Hi folks, this is your MWIS Winter Planner updated on Friday the 10th of March. It's going to be a very cold start to the weekend. We've got extensive lying snow across the hills of England and Wales, also over the northern half of the Highlands. The week ahead it will see some rather unsettled conditions. We'll see some further snowfalls in the forecast at times. It looks as though the focus of this more across the Highlands, but some colder air is expected to drift back southwards again as we go through late Monday into Tuesday. We'll have generally low pressure on the scene through the week ahead. This is the pressure pattern then suggested right the way through the seven day period to the 20th of March. And we'll have various complicated centres of low pressure moving across the country through this time with some milder air, particularly across England and Wales. But Scotland more often holding on to the colder air masses on the northern side of these centres of low pressure. We still have a fair block of high pressure which exists away towards Greenland and Iceland. Further ahead, and although uncertain, we'll likely see lower pressure still nearby, but more toward the west and the southwest of Britain, with high pressure still somewhere up toward the north of us, and still preventing then a, a genuine push of westerly winds getting in across Scotland. So east or southeasterly airflow is may well prevail through that spell, but looking a bit less cold than at the current time. Let's show you what's going on then in terms of the freezing level and we will start with all terrain frozen first thing on Saturday morning. Overnight temperatures may well have gone down below minus 10 even across northern England over the snow cover. We'll see a rise of temperature and freezing level during the day towards around 400 metres or maybe even a touch higher on a few south facing slopes. So some daytime thawing of that snow but extensively lying though still across most of the hills where it's fallen from recent days. We do have a push of minus milder air though coming in across Wales as the front comes in and that will see the temperature rise considerably and lifting above freezing point even to the highest tops later in the day and that uh, gradual transition will also extend further northwards as we head towards Sunday with rising temperatures pushing their way in and that uh, may be a complicated process across the highlands some areas still uh, seeing terrain extensively frozen to quite lower levels but around western coasts in particular we may well see those temperatures lift above freezing towards the high tops tricky with the extent of that freezing level as we go into sunday night and monday in terms of how far north it goes there may again just be that spell for a while into the start of monday where temperatures are near or just above freezing point to the higher tops in scotland but it is likely that that freezing level will drop quite sharply during the day even down to 400 meters or below especially across more northern regions the exact position of that boundary line at this stage is uncertain it could come further south much more quickly and indeed leave much of the Scottish Highlands even below freezing point to quite low levels much of the day so watch the detail of Monday it could just change slightly but at the very least that cold air sweeps all the way back across the country by the time we go through Monday night into Tuesday so for Tuesday we're back to seeing a freezing level broadly down towards 400 meters across many of the mountain areas of Britain perhaps just a little bit higher toward the south of Wales but much terrain then is once more frozen be aware of some icy conditions where some previous thawing has taken place. Towards the middle of the week and things will be uncertain again. It looks as though Wednesday is still essentially a cold day before we just try and get the next push of some milder air attempting to come back in from the southwest. And the whole process really then just trying to repeat itself. This chart shows you where we have the lying snow on the ground and there's extensive coverage across the Peak District, the Pennines, North Wales, with some uh, large depths and drifts in places from uh, recent days. Uh, northern Scotland too also has a good snow cover, the northern Cairngorms in particular. Further south across uh, the highlands, a bit patchier, but do be aware of some icy conditions in places. As we take things on in the days ahead, there will be a thaw that will take place across England and Wales as we go through into Sunday as temperatures do lift. But some fresh snow that will fall as we go through Saturday evening and night into Sunday for many central parts of the Highlands where there hasn't been so much in recent times. And that snow will still be very much extensive across the mountains as we go through late Sunday into Monday. But transitioning to something a bit more wetter on lower terrain, I suspect, across many central southwestern parts of the Highlands by this stage. 
Again, we're just watching the timing of how things fare into Monday. It may well be that there is some further extensive snowfall that develops across the highlands by this time. And as we go through into the early hours of Tuesday, snow falls once more coming down across England and Wales and will lie across the hills, maybe even to quite low elevations. The highlands really suggesting a, a large snowfall could occur around this time, particularly in more northern areas, but extensive looking at that chart. Into the second half of the week then, we've got lying snow across uh, many of our mountain terrains. And again, there may be just a thaw that gradually takes place then across England and Wales as we head into the latter part of the week. Maybe preceded by a fresh fall of snow for a time, just depending on the progress of some fronts. Treat that cautiously, but there is the message of still being very wintry and snowy across the hills and mountains for a good many days forwards, with some freeze and thaw in there, especially for England and Wales. Let's take you through the charts for the days ahead. And for Saturday, it's a fine day for many places, a crisp, wintry feeling day with some sunshine turning rather hazy as we have some high cloud that is building and that will turn more overcast from the southwest ahead of an oncoming front. That will produce some snow flurries across Wales, becoming more persistent with time, and that will encroach further north and eastwards as we go onwards into Saturday evening. The wind will strengthen as a southeasterly ahead of that front as well, becoming quite gusty, but for a decent spell during the day, the wind will be light. By Sunday we have that front across Scotland with a period of snowfall from overnight into the morning and that so it will tend to fade out but replaced by some spells of rain coming in from the southwest with snow really becoming confined across the Monroes and maybe even turning a bit wetter higher up for a time later on in the day. For England and Wales we're under the milder air mass and we'll be above freezing point to the higher tops so a thaw will be commencing and becoming rather wet underfoot and rather murky with low clouds shrouding many of the hills some patchy rain and drizzle coming in and maybe turning wetter as the next warm front moves into Wales through the afternoon. A blustery day too, the wind strengthening increasingly to gale force across the Welsh mountains, a bit more variable further north, there may be some lulls across the highlands but do be expecting some brisk winds at times. For Monday, a rather lively looking chart as low pressure is on the scene. There will be uncertainty on the exact position of the centre of that low, which will dictate where the boundary of the milder and colder air exists. But for Scotland, a period of rainfall potentially turning extensively to snow to quite low elevations over the highlands. For England and Wales, it's a wetter day with rain fairly frequent over western hills, and it looks particularly windy with gales, extensive, maybe severe gales, especially across Wales. For Scotland, the wind will likely vary, a possible lull, but do be prepared for rapidly changing conditions and gales developing and colder air tucking in from the north across all areas as we head to later in the day on Monday. That will extend to all regions into Tuesday as the wind turns north to northwesterly and it's a showery day with some snow and some hail falling to lower elevations quite frequently, most of those across northern Scotland and coming in across the Irish Sea into Wales, but a scattering elsewhere mixed with some sunshine, a windy and cold feeling day, again with the risk of being up to gale force for periods. At the moment, Wednesday looks to be a quieter day as one area of low pressure moves off eastwards before the next fronts try and move in from the southwest. So a few showers around, lighter winds overall, still chilly by the stage with terrain extensively frozen, some sunshine around as well. Just got to watch for the timing of the next fronts moving in with the potential for some further snowfalls turning then back to rain. Plenty to watch then in the days ahead. You can find all your local information, of course, on our website. That is your winter planner for today. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.